Daniel Dubois, he's apparently quite in traffic at the moment. He's on the undercard and he's Dave Howe who's here, so we're uh, we're um, uh, we're talking about that when he gets here later and you can if you need to ask anything you can. And it's a fantastic undercard, some good youngsters there. Pick out fight, Joe Pickford against Aaron Morgan. Both of them are 12 and 0, as they say, somebody's always gonna go. And that has got the uh, that's got the hallmarks of being the fight of the night. So um, it's gonna be a great fight card for the fans as always. Absolutely, and uh, how close are we to sell out? There's a few left, but not a huge amount. There's a few left, so you want to, want to get your tickets, get onto a Venton, and that's where you buy your tickets, and uh, hopefully we'll be fully sold out. The atmosphere is going to be fantastic, without a doubt. This, this is a good quality fight card. Let's hear from uh, Aaron and Joe first of all. Frank's identified that super welterweight fight as potentially the fight of the night, both 12 and 0. Aaron, first of all, yep. what's your thoughts on this one, then? I mean, on paper, it's a, it's a fantastic matchup on paper. Both of us are 12 and 0. Doesn't really get any evenly, more evenly matched than that. Um, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a good fight. These are the kind of fights I've been boxing for. It's going to be a great contest, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You've seen uh, the way Joe fights. It's fair to say he never fights in a dull one, does he? No, he's never in a dull one. Um, I'm never in a dull one, so you know it shouldn't be a dull one this Saturday. It should be a very good contest. What about? Uh, I mean, both of you, both of you can punch. He's a, he's a bit of a banger. You can punch as well. Chances are that this is going to be explosive, isn't it? Uh, chances are it's going to be explosive. He can punch. I can punch. Um, you need more than punching to get a job done. Um, I believe I've got all the tools to get the job done. I'm really looking forward to uh, for, for the fight. Well, that's uh, Aaron's take on I mean, it, Joe. I've said that uh, it's never a dull one when you're in there. What about your thoughts on this guy? What sort of a fight can we anticipate? Um, no, I don't expect it to be a dull fight. Obviously, we've both got a lot of knockouts between us. Um, I expect we both come fully prepared and we're both ready for eight tough rounds, which I know I am, and I'm sure Aaron is. I just don't know whether he's ready for eight tough rounds with me. I'm, I'm excited to fight and I can't wait to get out there Saturday night. Do you, think, do you think you're the more the more battle-hardened? Are you taking him to an area where he's not been before? Oh, 100%. He's never been in a ring with me, so that is, he will be in a place that he's never been. But um, I wouldn't say none of us have boxed great standard of opponents. Maybe oh, mine is definitely a little bit better, but I wouldn't nothing to judge a fight by. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see Saturday. This is all just talk at the moment, so I can't wait to get in the ring and let the punches go. Are you anticipating the hardest fight of your career? Um, like you say, on paper, it's the hardest fight of my career, but just because on paper that's, we're, we're both better opposition, it doesn't mean that that's the way it's going to be. So we'll see if, if he comes and starts opening up and trying to, trying to land big shots on me, it leaves him open. So it could go quicker, you don't know. Good to be fun, Frank. Well, it is. You know, they've had 24 fights between them, and they've got 19 knockouts between them. So. Uh, to a decent fireworks here, that's for sure. I've not seen the running order yet, but I think that wouldn't be a bad show opener for the uh, for the BT broadcast, yeah, which is going to be starting, I think, at seven o'clock. Is it? It's yeah, on, uh, seven on Saturday. It's on BT, on BT, and obviously on Box Nation. So, uh, say that. Right, well, Frank's kind of uh, waxed lyrical, and I guess I have as well about the uh, about the punch power of Anthony Yard, who so far is done absolutely everything that's been asked of him and uh, the vast majority of his fights have been over in the first couple of rounds. Here for against uh, Chris who's alongside me, Chris Hobbs who's the Southern Area Champion, first title fight of Anthony's career. Chris, what do you reckon? What do you think of him, what you've seen so far? Um, he's doing everything right so far. He's um, very powerful, we can see that. That's all we've seen at the moment. Quite patient so far. He looks good, but he's not fought anyone at the moment. So he's unproven in my eyes. So we're going to, um, you know, go out there, box our game. We're not not intimidated by his power. You know, I've been with big hitters before. Did that as an amateur. I've boxed that many weights. So I've done I've done it as super heavyweight as an amateur. So I can do it. I'm not worried about his power. So certainly if he's only bringing the power, I mean, it's going to be my fight. What we've not seen of Anthony, and I say, that, I say this with the utmost of respect, 
is uh, how well he takes the shots because nobody really has landed anything big on him yet. No, he's, he's looked good, hasn't he? So he hasn't had a chance to. Uh, no one's really hit him, but no one's been throwing back at him. Everyone's gone in there with the. Uh, he's got that aura of people are scared of him, where I'm not scared of him. So I'll, I will be there. I'll be. St I'll be willing to trade. I'll be willing to box. I'll be willing to do whatever to get that win. So I'm not, I'm not going in there to run away, get paid and go home. I'm there to keep my belt and then move on to someone like the British title. Willing to trade, does that play into his hands? We'll see. We'll see. What we, we, we've, got, we've got many plans, many different ways we can do this. We just uh, take it as it comes, you know. We have to we'll adapt as it comes on. Anthony, do you think that uh, a fair number of your opponents have been afraid of you because you've got this uh, amazing punch record nine stoppages and i think they've all come in the first two rounds i think so the first thing i want to do is um thank everyone for coming all the media and um, thank you to frank warren promotions mayoral promotions for the show um have people been scared of me some opponents have i'll openly admit that um do i think it's going to be any different on saturday we have to tune into bt sports and boss nation to see um, this is a game of boxing and it's a long career. You get different opponents put in front of you. You get tough opponents, you get rugged opponents, you get sluggers, you get boxers. Um, me and Tony, we prepare for every style we can think of. So the time for me to showcase the skills, I'm not ever looking to take a punch. That's not what boxing's about. Um, can I take a punch? Yes. I've taken punches before. Um, but it's not about getting hit. I want to keep my face looking pretty. I want to keep my, <laughs> keep my faculty and everything in shock that everything good so I'm not looking to get hit and I'm looking to if an opportunity presents itself and I can knock up my opponent it's going to happen. How much more of you as a boxer have we yet to see because you know I mean you've looked, you've looked sensational so far but how much more do you think we've not seen? Well thank you. <laughs> but um, there's a lot more to see as I said different times of your career you get different opponents um, they bring out the best of you or sometimes they make you look good, sometimes you get bad opponents and make you look bad. So um, it all depends on the night, as I said before, tune in to BT Sports, Box Nation, it's going to be a fantastic show. We've got, from, from me gets televised, or even before that as well, the whole show is good. Have you seen much of Chris? Do you think he's going to push you into a, into a, a higher level? I haven't seen too much of him, that's not meaning I'm underestimating him or anything like that, I don't underestimate no opponent. Um, each fight that I've had so far has got me to this point, so I've taken every fight seriously. Um, I haven't seen much of him at all, I feel like that's Tunde's job. Tunde will break down little things and will work on certain things to, um, to do the job. Has it got to the level yet where you know you walk down the street and people are starting to realise who you are? Because I, you know, I mean, people we've a lot of us out here have seen exciting fighters who've come through in the past, and you know we've all remembered the likes of Nigel Benn and such like, who eventually had that amazing crossover appeal. Have you started to sense a bit of that yet? Yeah, um, it comes. You know, with um, television, media. And when um, people come in to watch you fight, you gain supporters and fans. So um, even when I was coming at the train station, uh, um, two young boys came over and asked for a picture. So it's good, it's good for building profile, but at this point, I'm not even focused on it. That's for me to enjoy after the fight, right now it's business. And what's your thoughts on this fight, Frank, as for one to look forward to? Well, I'll just say, I think, um, I think Anthony's a bit of a phenomenon. We have 12 amateur fights, and he's had 10 pros, he's had his whole career 22 fights. And you look at some of the guys, uh, the amount of amateur fights they've had, how, how many, how many He's had 36 fights, so he's had, you know, and you look at most uh, guys who uh, turn professional, they've, they've had 40, 50, 60, 70 fights. That's all he's had. He's a phenomenal puncher. I mean, in each hand, there's a couple of bazookas there ready to go off. <laughs> um, as we said, there are a few things that we need to know and I'm sure we'll find out in time, as we do, you know, as you do with all boxers. But for dedication, for training, for what him and Tundi do together, and Tundi's done a brilliant job. You know, he reminds me of a, he does remind me of Nigel Dick Ben when he turned yeah. professional, no doubt about that. That you can't blink, you can't blink. But Chris is, you know, he's, he's, he's got there the hard way, and Chris is a, you know, he's a competent professional. He obviously, he wouldn't have took the fight if he didn't think he could win it. So we will see on the night, but you know, 
Anthony's my man, and I, and I, uh, you know, I've got every confidence and faith in him. And I think I've got a problem at the moment is how you match it. Yeah. Because he, he obviously needs to get experience. As I said, he's only had 22 fights in, in all, and it's uh, making the right matches at the right time. But up to now, he, he, he's looking like a seasoned pro. Great hand speed, fast hands, um, devastating puncher, and uh, he's exciting. How do, you, how do you feel, Anthony, about being sort of mentioned in the same breath by the guy who was alongside Nigel Benn for so long in his career? How does it, how does it feel to be mentioned in the same breath as uh, one, of, one of our great fighters of the past? Um, well, it's definitely refreshing. Um, it's a big compliment as well because I believe anyone that's gone on to do as big things as um, Nigel Benn did, it's a big compliment to me. Um, but one thing I'm trying to keep in my mind is that I'm Anthony Yard. Um, and I'm trying to make my own name, so it's a great um, comparison, and it's a good thing. It's a good thing that I've been put in that kind of bracket so early in my career with such limited experience. So um, it's more than me. In the meantime, you're going to try and prove that it's just a bit too much hype. Yeah, it's come, I'm here to burst some bubbles, you know. Get all oh, he's got, you know. From day one, he's had all this exposure. He's had all the, um, you know, all the sponsors, everything just given to him. Where well, I've been in these small hall shows working hard and you know, working, doing it all by myself, just for my team. So now it's time to step up and you know, if I go, suddenly my name's the big thing, suddenly I'm sat where he's sat, you know, in that sort of sense of prestige and, and being known. And that's what I want to be, you know, I want to try and get as far as up in the sport as I can. And I want to get that British title, so. So, to interrupt, can I just say one thing? Nothing can life is given. You work, for what, you work for what comes to you, so when people are saying things are given to me or I'm getting all this, I'm getting that, as Frank Warren said, I work hard. Anyone that comes to my gym and sees me train, I work hard, and that's day in, day out, 24-7. Deb, you came to the gym. <laughs> so people come to the gym and watch me train, I don't take this, this school as a no joke thing, so nothing's given. Okay. We will see.